Hello everybody, Collier Swecker in Birmingham, Alabama. Better put my seatbelt on. Uh, in Birmingham, Alabama, hope everybody's having an awesome day. Wanted to talk a little bit about, and I've talked about it in the past a little bit, but I'm finding more and more people as they, as they move on to a new home or they're getting ready to rent the house, that they still are not making sure they update their insurance policy uh, to show that there's vacant, it's vacant or that they're renting their home very dangerous on your part because we have seen some of the insurance companies and the big big boys uh, cancel coverage especially you know i think i've talked to you before where i had a client that the one of the tornadoes took, took off the roof and because a month and a half before she uh the tornado came through she had moved uh about 100 miles south of birmingham and when they came in to look it looked like it was vacant so they denied the claim because it was a violation of the policy so you know one thing that you know we notice a lot is that folks just put their head in the sand and think oh they'll never find out well they're not going to proactively tell you to the lawyers get involved and they depose you or they ask you questions about you know, where were you living at the time and those type of things. And, and it's a clear violation of almost all the regular homeowners policies that, you know, you, you got to be living in that house or you need to make sure you change that coverage to either vacant house coverage or that you have coverage uh, for renters. And quite frankly, if you don't have regular coverage for tenants, you may be running a risk. You know, you have third parties living in that house and exposing yourself to a ton of liability because you really can't control who comes in and out of that house once you rent it. So you need to make sure you're fully covered there from a liability standpoint and the property standpoint so anyway just wanted to remind everybody make sure you change those policies when you change the occupancy status on your home you know hey contact your local real estate oh not your real estate agent you can call you can call them but make sure you call and contact your uh, insurance agent uh, about making those changes if you have questions comments disagree with anything I've had to say email me call your ex MegaAgents.com. Have an awesome day.